everybody, it's Lavinia and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to be making this wired Christmas stocking charm with some beads. And what I'm using for this tutorial are is a five, five inch piece of 16 gauge red wire for the stocking. I also have some thinner wire for stringing the beads and then I have a variety of beads here as well. I also have my round nose pliers, my chain nose pliers, and as I mentioned a variety of beads and my dabbling block. So what I did first was I drew a one inch square and then I drew my design inside the square. So hopefully you can see it here. The Christmas stocking and then I have the loop outside that one inch square for where I would attach it to a jump ring and then attach that to my bracelet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire and my round nose pliers and I'm attaching or I'm going to take my wire here and then just loop it around here like that. And I'm going to take that out and then put it inside and then just bend the wire back a little bit and then adjust that loop so that I get a loop that looks like this. And I'm going to place the loop now here on the paper so that I can outline my design with the wire. So whatever design that you um, drew you can just use this wire to make your outline. So I'm pressing down and then I am taking here my chain nose pliers and holding that down and I'm just going to use my fingers here to bend around the bottom of the stocking. So I just wanna make sure that that is staying in line with my drawing. Then I'm going to again move my chain nose pliers here to the bottom of the toe and with my fingers I'm going to bend that wire up. Again I'm just going to adjust the wire to make sure that it stays there. And then here at the top of the toe I'm just going to use my chain nose pliers to twist that around and so I've got that there and I'm holding it with my finger and then bringing that wire up again just to meet the outline and here at this top edge I'm just going to make that right angle right there and so this is what we have now and so now I'm just going to take the wire and twist it around the bottom of that loop just a couple of times and I'm just going to now take my wire cutters and cut it. Cut that extra piece off. And you can always file this down if it's rough, but for the meantime, what I'm just going to do is take my chain nose pliers and just push it in just a little bit so that I have that. So this is what the stocking now looks like. So again, if you feel mm, that where you cut it might be rough, just take a file and file that down. So now the next step I'm going to do is I am going to harden off the wire because it is still a little bit flexible. I have here a jewelry hammer and on my block, I'm just going to lightly tap it a little bit. And what this does is it hardens the wire. So it stiffens the wire a little bit. I'm not banging down too hard because this is just some red coated aluminum wire and I really don't want to damage the wire or have that color come off. I mean if it does that's that's okay too but I just want to strengthen the wire by slightly hammering down on it. All right so now that that's done we have that and I'm going to take my thin wire here and I'm going to start stringing well actually first thing I'm going to do is attach 
attach part of that wire, the thinner wire, to the stocking. So I'm just cutting off a piece here. Um, let's see. So this is about 18 inches. I don't know that you need that much, but I can always use this for other projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this wire and I'm going to twist it around here at the base of the loop. I just want to make sure that it's secure, so I'm going to twist that around. And now that that's secure, let me just cut off this little piece that's sticking out here. And toss that away. So we have that there. So now I'm just going to take some of the beads and start stringing them. So let's see. Here's just a little bit twisted, so I just want to cut that off so the beads will go in nicely. So I'm just going to start stringing a couple here. If you had seed beads, you can use them as well. As you know, I have seed beads, but this is just what I pulled out of my stash. So let's see. So as I get here, I'm going to start deciding how I want to have it lay. So it looks like these three here, let's see, I'm gonna move that one up. I think I'm gonna have that little copper one be by itself. So I am bringing the wire over the top of the stocking and then pulling it through. And because I want to secure it, I'm going to go over it again. So I'm bringing the beads along with the thinner wire just so that I can secure that there. And now I'm going to leave those two in there like that. So I'm bringing it here to this edge. And again, I am going to bring that wire through again just a couple of times. This just secures the wire so that the beads don't start being wobbly around. You're sort of securing the beads to where you want them to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna, going to bring it back in here because I want my beads to now go here in this inner part of the, of the stocking. So let's choose maybe this pretty crystal blue. So I'll put that in there and maybe this little gold one and we'll bring that there to the top of the stocking, um, top of the foot of that stocking and again going to string that a couple of times to secure it. And you can make different designs. You could make maybe, again, I'm just gonna bring this through because we're going to string now the beads inside this part of the stocking. You can make flowers, you could make, um, I don't know, maybe a star. You know, whatever shape you can think of. It doesn't have to be an inch. Again, I'm just doing an inch here because of the um, art charm bracelet. I just don't want the, I just don't want it to be larger than an inch. I'm going to put this little silver one. Just like that. And so you can see how it fills up the stocking. Really pretty. Thread that through like that. And so I think I'm just going to put maybe just a couple of small ones maybe here. So that's why I'm bringing the wire over because I'm going to end up attaching it here. So maybe you could use one of these little bugle beads. Let's see. Maybe this gold one. So 
So let me know what you think of this tutorial. If you try it out, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the section below. And let's see, maybe we could put just one little small other one, maybe. Need a silver, I guess that's a gold one. Let's see if I can get a silver one. And I hope you subscribe to get notifications of upcoming tutorials. And also for the Our Charm Bracelet giveaway. All right, so. Sorry about that. Let's see, I'm just going to attach that here. And I'm going to thread it through a couple of times since that's the last of it. There we go. So I'll trim that off, but there you go. Here is the finished charm. So I hope you enjoyed this and give it a thumbs up and share and like, and I will see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.